Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Firefighting Simulator, the squad. So, um, we're going to be racing to another fire here. Um, originally, oh, uh, actually, let me get my lights on. There we go. That's better. Um, I'll put it to you this way. It's bad luck to drive without your headlights on at night. Yeah, it's also stupid. Um, <laughs> anyways... The schedule for uh, recording of this uh, you know, episode, originally I was going to do uh, something a little bit different here for this episode, but um, I ended up changing it up a bit here. The reason being, um, basically the uh, first mission that I was going to do got into it and I realized two things. One, that mission uh, is going to be a bit, um, you know, a bit of a challenge. Uh, and this one here, I think, is going to be a bit of a challenge as well. Uh, I started, actually, the first mission I was planning on doing. And then I got there, I was like, I think I picked the wrong vehicle for the job. So, I was going to, you know, and then I also said, well, that would be a good finale. So then I booted up this mission, started doing it. It crashed while I was doing it, but... Um, which is unusual in and of itself, may I add. It's very unusual. But this is episode 13, so take that how you will. But yeah, in the last couple episodes, the uh, drive times have been kind of long, if I'm being honest. And hopefully, uh, I don't think this episode we're going to have too long of drive times, and I don't think next episode is going to have as long of drive times either. Um, honestly, the driving in the game is starting to kind of get to me a little bit. I really do enjoy the driving for the most part. It's just that it, um, it's a little bit repetitive, and it really sets me on edge here because here I am. I'm trying to, you know, dodge cars here. This bit's not too bad. This bit's not too bad, honestly. Um, but sometimes, you know, it, it, it's really difficult, you know, getting there. But that is a part of the experience and stuff, uh, you know, so that's why I leave it in here and stuff, um, you know, and why I do it, you know, it, it's, it's part of the mission in a sense. You can't get there without uh, doing this driving here and stuff. Relit by sparks. Find a fuse box and cut the power. Copy that. I'll do a 360 check. So, just looking at what we're dealing with here, um, yeah, we got some fire on the roof. Uh, we got hostages, for those new to the channel, that's what I call victims. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're gonna have to skip this here. Uh, all right. Oof, I'm on the wrong side of the truck. Okay, first priority is, of course, rescue the hostages. Um, I don't see any of the garage. Um, number three, get me a tool because, yeah, we need to breach this door. I'm just gonna, okay, we got some people in there. Can I traverse this window? Why isn't it giving me the option to traverse the window? I mean... There is nothing stopping me from traversing this window, so why can't I traverse? Uh, free, get that open, please. Um, right. Number two, what did I tell number two to do? I don't remember, but number two, I want you to get an attack line. And once you do that, we're going to have you over there. Um, right. Number three, get, check that door there. Um, I'm going to start just checking things here okay closing door um i was a little slow on that so we're gonna have a bit of a problem there because the fire is already spread to the spreading to this room um i'm just gonna grab someone um oh good we have all right number three grab that person uh number two can you actually start fighting the fire from the kitchen Number two, get over there. Um, we'll come back for that guy. 
I don't know what number one's doing. I assume number one's still dealing with the roof fire. Hopefully he can handle that on his own. You know, I'm trying to prioritize here. And it, it, it's hard when you're the one uh, bringing the victims. Um, dang it, hostages. Uh, number three, go ahead and get an attack line. All right, I'll take this for now. This is my directing stick. Uh, if you don't follow my directions, I whack you with it. Okay, good, good. Um, let's just get a status update here. We still got people in the house somewhere. That is not good. Okay. Yeah, we need to get in there for the electrics. There's like a bedroom. Okay, there's a bathroom here. We got someone down there. There's bars on the window. Um, all right, number three. Uh, there's a breach point here. Number three. I need you to spray water on that wall. Deal with that wall, please. And then I'll breach into there, hopefully. It's like he's actually listening to me. I love it. Is it actually... I can't see if I'm actually breaching here. Hang on. Why is it... Alright, there we go. Now we've got a breach point. Perfect. Breach. Breach. Okay, this isn't good. You know what? Number two, I need you over in here. You're gonna have to help with this. We gotta get to that, uh, person. I don't want to pull one off of the roof because then we'll lose any and all progress that we made on the roof. So, um, we're going to have to get to that person. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a good reason not to have bars on your windows like that. It, it, it prevents, it's a, it's not a, it blocks a point of egress, which means we can't help you here. Um, you know, I get the whole, uh, point about, you know, securing your home and stuff, believe me. Oh, good. One has shown up as well. Yeah, let's not stand in the fire here. I think I'm going to need backup on this. We got to get to that person. All right. We got an entry point. This is not safe what I'm doing. We're just trying to clear a path here. All right, number two, can you come in here and help? All right, we're going in. All right, there's the hostage. Oh, I, I wanted to drop my tool first. There, hose dropped. Alright. We need our exit. We're going through. I mean, in real life, wait, we'd need a blanket for, you know, this. I know that much. Again, not a firefighter. Not That's not my job, but I, I know a little bit. Alright, hopefully this is all hostages rescued. Oh no, we are not done. There's still we're still on the search and rescue phase. Where are they? That oh, I, this poor person has been sitting. I said I'd come back for you, and I may have forgotten. Um, you know, your buddy was in the bathroom. He was in not so good shape, 
and not because of that, you know, bean dip that you made that went bad because, you know, no, he, he was uh, at more risk of burning than you were. So it's not that I forgot about you. It's just that, you know, you, you became a priority to the guy who's in imminent danger. All right. Now we can actually get back to the fire here. Um, I think. All right. Um, who's in there? Number two. Fall back. Fall back, number two. Fall back. We'll have to... Yeah, this... Alright, there we go. Alright, let me see if I can close this door, because uh, if we can compartmentalize the fire a little bit, we'll be better off. Alright, let's focus on... Um, all right, where's the breaching? But I'm going to, all right, let's all pile up on, uh, two or one. As soon as we can clear enough space for that, that is. All right, this is clear. I mean, one has just been doing a champion's job right here. All right. All right. Um, two and three, you may begin your... No. Let me get a tool first. Yes, sir. No. Oh, dear. I hope that didn't mess them up too much. All right, we're at nine minutes. All right, let's just get this corner out under control here. Go from there. Okay. I'm just curious. Who's not here? Where is two? Yes, you get over here. We need you. I mean, the music keeps changing there, I've noticed. Fire, you shall not pass this doorway. I am the gatekeeper of this. All right, there we go. 10 minutes, 41 seconds. That's not bad. We That was pretty good. That went pretty well. A little chaotic towards the end there, uh, but overall pretty good. But number three, what are you doing? <laughs> It's always number three that's giving me the trouble. Probably because I always give number three the more complicated task. Number one's just got to put out fire. You know, number two, you know, he gets bossed around a bit. Number one, I just let him do whatever he needs to do. Poor number three that I give the hard time to always. Okay, complete 100 missions. All right. Uh, fast driving time, fast mission time. Have I really done 100 missions? I mean, I play this a little bit you know, outside of these videos, but usually it's just stuff I've already done. I've never, you know, I don't do stuff in this. Outback Warehouse, out of the front pan. Oh boy, we got a lot of fun stuff ahead of us. <laughs> Dispatch to unit one. All right, there we go. We're right on the rear end there. Also, they sent both of these for a warehouse inspection. I mean, I guess it must be a big warehouse and they don't want us there all day, so send Two units. Also, we're engine five. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how we're gonna. I have no idea how we're gonna get around them. Well, we might be able to through here. 
Nope, they're 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 blocking us there on that. I Nope. Not safe, not safe. Okay. We can get ahead of them. We're ahead. Now we just got ooh loading air or loading lag, I mean not air. Why does it always load when I need to make a turn like that? That's the worst time for it to, you know, do a load and, you know, cause a little lag. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if we can make uh, whoop. I really break for these turns, because I have no idea what my back end's doing. I mean, right now, it, it feels, you know, like I'm just hunched over the wheel here, really up close. And we move the seat back a little bit here, you know, just a touch. But yeah, far easier to drive in first person, I think, in this game than uh, third person. I mean, some games I like driving in third person, you know, some I like driving in first. This is definitely a first person camera moment. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Watch out, there's a crazy uh, person behind the wheel of this fire engine. Yeah, every time I see the gas station here, that, that little droplet of fuel there looks more like a droplet of blood. And I think, is that a blood bank or something? Are we in the Blade universe? And, you know, that's let the, the, let the vampires know, hey, come here. Okay, this is cool. We actually get our choice of parking spots. Uh, I'm gonna pick the this one. All right, arrived safely. Find a fuse box and cut the power. Copy that. I'll do a 360 check. Yeah, I, I don't know if I mentioned this about the driving in this game, but you know, it it's, it gets a little old fast. Specifically, the people. You know, if you're you know in multiplayer, they. They get like a free, you know, after you start the mission, they get free minutes to do whatever the heck they want while you as the driver are panicking about it, you know. Mike's using the bathroom, Bill's gone to go and uh, uh, heat up a frozen burrito. Charlie, who knows what he's doing. Okay, I mean, I'm noticing once again a lot of bars on windows here, so that worries me. All right, uh, so the plan is this. I'm going to actually get the pry bar of it. Oh, that's the axe. I want the pry bar, pry bar, pry bar. Because we might have to shut some doors. All right. Um, my plan is to have number two and three serving as hostage uh, rescue uh, grabbers, basically. So immediately, two, get that person. Okay, I think I see the electrical panel there. So let's just disconnect that while we're here. Uh, what's going on in here? We got fire there. We got a heck of a lot of fire in here. Oh, we gotta breach that door. Okay, um, new plan. Three. I need you on a line now. In fact, one, actually. Start dealing with this, um... Turn that on. Oh, breach, right. Hopefully there's no fire in here. Okay, there's no one in there. We got a door open here. We got fire here. I don't see anyone there. I hope there's no one in there, because if so, they are toast already. Uh, let's close this door. Th this fire is way out of control already. Uh, let's close this door again, just to cut off uh, roots for fire. I mean, this this place is already heavily ablaze. This is not ideal. All right, locked door here. All right, um, two, grab this person. Uh, plans, plans, plans. All right, we're just gonna have to have free help out with one here. Um, back advance. Check this now. All right, we got a person down here. Let's get them out.
hopefully this is it, because, um, you know, I much preferred it when I had the little icon there telling me how many people, you know, there were to rescue and stuff. Because uh, for this mission, I, I don't know, I, I, there's so much fire that if there's someone in there, that I can't even see them. There's just too much fire. Oh. Great, now I'm going to have to wait. Alright, uh, two, go ahead and set up a line. Alright, search and rescue complete. Thank goodness for that. Um, alright. Um, I'm gonna quickly just run back up here and close these doors here. No, I want to close the door. I mean, the fact I have to do it this way. You know, we're just going to leave that there. That's fine. All right. I'm All right. So number two, I need you stationed there for now to help because we need to cover number. Uh, you know, the exit has sealed for um, one and three. They're they're trapped at this point as far as the fire. And that's not good. We don't want that. We don't want our buddies trapped because of the fire. No. I need longer arms in this game. Also, I'm pretty sure my guy, you know, well, actually, never mind, never mind. I forget what I was going to say. I was going to complain about how slow you move, but then I was thinking about, actually, you're dragging a, a lot of hose here, and then we have infinite length of hose. So, yeah, maybe this does make sense. But yeah, this is definitely going to be a challenging mission here. I mean, I kind of just want to stop it from spreading at this point further up the stairs, but... I have no idea what one and three are doing. Hopefully they're all right. I mean, this is kind of this, you know, this would be scary. The idea that they were technically trapped there with, with a wall of flames separating us. OK, they're good, actually. Let's close this door. They've almost got the fire out there. They're doing great, too. We got to, you know, make up for our lackluster performance so far. We got to conquer the upstairs bit here. I think they just sent back up to help us here. Yes, they did. Well, I'm thankful for it because uh, it's spreading fast here. I didn't think we were going to get this under control like as quickly as we are here. I mean, th this is going much better than I would have expected. We've got, um, oh boy, is it, do I, yeah, I do have, uh, there's just so much smoke in here. All right, we're, I, I'm going to take the moment to open some windows here to vent some of the smoke because we can't even see. It's so dark. Oh, is that window already open? I guess so. All right, that should help a little bit. Let's get back downstairs now. Um... All right, let's double check that that room's clear. Just making sure the fire hasn't spread. So we just got the one room remaining. All right, one, two, and three. 
I don't know how Free's gonna negotiate that, but that's Free's problem. Did they just close the door? Oh, come on, you guys. The Whose idea was it to close the door? Or did I accidentally do it without even realizing it? Oh boy, we probably got a grease fire that started this whole mess. Actually, that doesn't line up. This probably... I don't know where the fire started, but... Alright, wow. That went a lot better than I thought it would. That, that went pretty good. Whew. I mean, I, that I thought was going to be a lot harder than what it was going to be there, because, you know, we, were, we actually were able to get the victims out pretty quickly. Dang it. Hostages. Hostages out. So, yeah, let's see how we did there. Um, fast driving time. Hey, hey, I've used 10,000 liters of water. Uh, fast mission time and challenge bonus. All right. Yeah, not bad, not bad.